<laughs> so here's kind of the plan. Um, so like every other Halloween show we do, we'll record everything, um, and then we'll just edit it up, and then we'll do the show live at some point. Um, so we really depend on you guys, regardless of what's going on, just to be really active. Don't ever feel like, oh, I shouldn't say something, I shouldn't interrupt. We absolutely say something, absolutely interrupt. If you see something, you feel something, you have a question, anything at all, you're a huge part of the show. Um, and, and we're just going to kind of go by the seat of our pants. Sharon is the owner. She's going to tell us the story. They've owned this for about 20 years, so they know everything about the McPikes and the hauntings and the ghosts and everything. And then we're going to be doing an investigation. Doc obviously has his cameras. Yeah, and, uh, then what we do, kind of like Ghost Hunters, the show that ever watched, we go back over the next few weeks and we look at everything, we listen to everything, see what we caught, if anything, and then we present the show that day. Which we'll probably have you guys come down and be on the show itself. Too. Any questions? Anything at all? Initial feelings? Yeah. Good. Perfect. Oh, there you go. <laughs> the more you throw up, the better. Yeah, right. She's been yeah. very quiet. All you the can way. hold that for us. <laughs> good radio. <laughs> Jim, are we all good in recording and everything? Timmy, why don't you come on over here? Okay. Just so we can get the ladies. Um, are we doing it right here? Or are we going to go up to the? Just for right now, we're just going to get introductions. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. So again, this is uh, for use in the show. So we're here at the McPike Mansion in Alton, Illinois, and we have our three contestants here. So I'm just going to have them one by one just introduce yourself and just a little bit about why you're here. You want to go first? Sure. Um, I'm Dana. Um, I listen to the show every year, and every year I'm just kind of uh, wish that I was one of the contestants. I don't know why, but... Um, I watch the ghost shows constantly. I have crazy ghost dreams all the time, and so you looking. Ghost dream recently. I did. So uh, the most recent one, at least, I kept coming out of this old basement, basically a vacant house. I kept coming out of this side basement door, and every time I came out, there was this little girl. She looked like she was maybe seven. Had brown hair, kind of curly, and she would just stand there and look at me, and then. She would walk past the porch, and uh, I would go down and look to see where she went, and she was nowhere. And every time I it kept repeating, I'd come out of the basement door. She'd be standing there looking at me, and then you were yeah. gonna have an awful night. Um, I know. Jeanette, I can't wait. I'm Jeanette. I did this on a dare for my husband. I try my my best not to think of anything paranormal at any time, at any point in my life, because I don't handle it well. I'm so really happy to be here. You can have a worse night than Dana. So. <laughs> Donna? I'm Donna, and I'm doing it because me and my girlfriend wanted to do it together. Mm -hmm. And since she didn't make it and I did, here I am, and I wish I wasn't. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> um, all right, well, let's make our way around the house, and uh, we'll introduce you to Sharon, and then she'll take you down to the hedge, which she says is her least favorite spot here, uh, and where she kind of likes to tell the story. She feels the most uh, sensitive down there. So follow me, and we'll, we'll head around and show you around the place. So initial impressions of the house, the manor, the mansion? It does look haunted. It does look haunted. That's crazy. Yeah, if you're going to shoot a horror movie and you built it from scratch, you couldn't do much better than that. Especially with the stunning the windows are knocked out. Yeah. What year is this house? <sighs> Jerome, do you know what year this is? I'm not walking first, so. 1869. that? Yeah. Any initial. There's, uh, there's uh, quite a few ghosts right here uh, in the in the vicinity. Uh, some are in the yard, some are in the driveway. I think they're just coming out to see what we're all about. And I guess we're the next new uh, 
Size Sears. Explain a little bit about your technology. Um, technology is that it's all basically infrared. Uh, I found a specific frequency that I can see orb entities. Um, so I can distinguish them from insects or bugs, and so they look totally different. And so what I'm seeing is balls of energy fly among you, fly around you, and fly away. And then they come back again. So why would there, now Alton is one of the most haunted cities in America, right? Yeah, there are many uh, reasons for that. One is because of the uh, limestone that is all underneath the city. That's one of the basic reasons. The other one was there's a Civil War uh, prison here. And uh, when the uh, prison was in full-fledged, they had two or three hundred Civil War prisoners at a time. And um, they were malnutritioned, many died, and uh, they tore the prison down. And when they tore the prison down, they feel like the entities just wander the streets now. And so the Mineral Springs Hotel, the Unitarian Church, uh, there's a lot of areas that are just haunted. And McPike is right on the list because of the uh, longevity of the, the house. And the house, actually, the timbers actually came from another building that was further down the street. And the timbers had been moved to the house, and the house was built again around um, all that history.